Hi everybody, it's Rebecca from Becca Bites. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to make Magnolia's banana pudding. I just wanna thank Bermuda's Biscuit Company for partnering with me to make this video possible. I will be using their vanilla cookies in my recipe. Okay, so we're kickstarting this recipe with the vanilla pudding. And in a mixing bowl, I have my sugar, to that I'm adding flour and a dash of salt. Next, we're placing that on a double boiler and we're just stirring to combine. Add in your egg yolks and give that a good whisk until everything's combined. I have two cups of milk and I'm adding them in two portions just to get it combined properly. Adding my second portion of milk and giving that a good stir. You should not be seeing any lumps at this point. You need to stir this occasionally because the eggs can burn and you don't want that. So I had this simmering for about 10 minutes while stirring. Took that off of the heat and I added a teaspoon of vanilla essence and just gave that a good whisk. It is important for you to strain your custard because you don't want any particles in this custard. It should be very silky smooth. I'm using my stand mixer to make my whipped cream. If you don't have a stand mixer, that's quite all right. You can use a hand mixer. So I have my mixer setting on speed four. It will take some time, but patience is key. If you increase the speed, it will come together quicker, but the air bubbles will be much bigger, causing it to deflate even quicker. So just take your time and let it whisk together. You're looking for soft peaks, and when it reaches that consistency, you add in the vanilla pudding, portions at a time and just allow it to come together smoothly and slowly. The final step of prep, I had five bananas that I peeled and sliced for my layering. Here comes the fun part, to build this amazing banana pudding. So the first layer is a layer of the pudding and then we're going to add the cookies and finally the bananas on top of the cookies. So you're just going to repeat this process about three times or two depending on how big your casserole dish is. This process was a bit lengthy but I really enjoyed doing it. It was so much fun. I absolutely loved using these vanilla cookies for this recipe. It added a hint of sweetness, but it was not overpowering at all. These cookies just brought this banana pudding to life.
and finally to top it off this does not need much decoration at all I just crushed some of the cookies and I just layered that on top we took so many pics of this banana pudding it was so hard to choose which ones I wanted to use So the next day has arrived and I was very eager to cut into this banana pudding. Oh my gosh, look at those layers, that layer of cookies, bananas and that pudding just all over. I am so excited to taste this. Mm. It's so creamy and rich. The sweetness is so mild and the cookies, it turned like cake, like the consistency of cake. Oh my gosh, this is so delicious. You all need to try this. Remember, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Bye.